are now at the home of Jim and Gwen Wilburn. And Jim, thank you. This is just a beautiful backyard. And I don't even know if I'm in the backyard, the side yard, because it's so intertwined within your house here. It must be great for entertaining. <laughs> it, it's a great place for entertaining. We've had a lot of parties here. We've had weddings back here. We've had weddings in the front. Oh, I bet. Uh, I bet. We've, and we have a wedding coming up May 28th. My daughter's getting married here. So. Oh, fabulous. Well, it looks just perfect, but I know it's about to change too. I mean, we're coming and we're seeing the azaleas and the violas, but a lot of that's about to change. It is, and, and you know, it's all good. Uh, you know, you wish everything could peak at the right time, but uh, Mother Nature has their own, you know, <laughs> their own thoughts about it. But yeah, the uh, we're getting ready to pull out all the violas and we're gonna put in some uh, pink, pink begonias okay. with Joseph's coat. And by then uh, the beautiful core bells are gonna be gone. So let me tell you, I feel like you might like color. Is that true? Love it, <laughs> love, love bright colors. Yeah, well, it's beautiful and only complimenting your bright colored pots as well. Tell me a little bit about those. Yeah, those pots we bought, Gwen and I bought them in Italy uh, about 15 years ago in Ravello. Uh -huh. uh, we, we loved them and they're like my babies. I bring them back. As soon as we, it looks like we're gonna have the first freeze, I bring them in my garage and. I was gonna ask, they don't look like they stay out No, the and then bring them out right after that. Uh, you know, as soon as it looks like they're not gonna be another freeze. But yeah, I love those pots. And they, I think they had a lot of color, just like the, the plants. And, and you can see how we love do love color. Well, it seems like a very relaxing space. You've got the outdoor kitchen and the pool. And I mean, you've got all your amenities that you would have in a house out in your yard as well. We do, and even, you know, I've been in the office for the last two years here at home and being on those Zooms all day, I have a beautiful little courtyard with the water fountain and, of course, Carla's Rose Garden, and, uh -huh. and I love walking out there in the day, you know, after an hour on the on the Zoom call. So, yeah, this, this yard is really, we're blessed to have a beautiful yard like this. Well, sometimes I know when you come to estates like this, you feel like maybe it's all done by a landscape company, but you get out here and are involved with the plant selection, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, every single plant. See, only place where I feel like I'm boss, <laughs> where my wife lets me have the say so, and that's in my yard. So I get to, you know, I, yellow is my favorite color. She won't let me wear it, but I do get to have it here on the violas and out front and so forth. So. Well, it definitely works out here, and thank you so much. And you mentioned Carla. I think I'm gonna go try to find her. Maybe over Carla's by the roses. awesome. She's worked for us with us for 25 years, and she's the best. Excellent. I'm gonna go chat with her. For All right. Thank Thanks, you. Casey. Hello, Carla. I recognize you from the last <laughs> garden tour. You've got another landscape here on the garden tour and it's beautiful again. Well, thank you, Casey. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I know your thing is color and you've got beautiful tulips in the backyard. And of course, these containers are just fabulous. Tell me your secret. Um, <laughs> quality plants yeah. and fertilizer. They like fish emulsion. We also like to put some osmocote and, and in there and water. Okay. Water's really important. Water and fertilizer. <laughs> water and fertilizer, <laughs> the basics. Yeah, so I, I mean, there's so much to this landscape. There's a lot of nooks and crannies and, and rooms. There's several different courtyard spaces. Tell me a little bit about some of the different um, plants that you have throughout. Okay, so this is near the front door and it's just a kind of a formal entrance with boxwoods. Then you go around the corner and we have a rose garden and we have lots of climbing roses and we have some poppies for the spring, more roses and a fountain. Then you go through the gate and you're in the backyard. Yeah, there's just, just keeps lots going of stuff. And going. You got some viburnums that are blooming right oh, now. Oh yeah, they're looking amazing. And the hydrangeas are gonna be coming on soon as yes. well as the peonies, I believe. Yes, yes, we just trimmed all the hydrangeas and fertilized them and you know they're looking great so when the, the azaleas probably be gone maybe by the tour maybe hanging on a little bit but you know the hydrangeas will be coming out the roses should be blooming they've got buds so carla it seems like there's so much detail how do you manage all of it and 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 take care of it because there's so much entertainment that's going on here all the time as well right well um if you just you know look at them you know, weekly and pick off the dead blooms, do a little pruning maybe when stuff gets a little wild, mm -hmm. keep your fertilizer up. It's all ready to go because it's five o'clock <laughs> and there's a time for partying over here because there's so many different areas to go to. Yeah. Yeah, you can spread out. It's a great house. Well, it's a beautiful landscape. Any favorite uh, annuals that you definitely like using that you want to share with us? Oh, I like to mix the tropicals like the hibiscus, you know, uh -huh. with the scavola. And with the grasses. It's the kind of a unique yeah, mix. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of nice. And um, 
you know, the, the thriller filler and spiller type thing, but I like to use tropicals. I like, um, Mm, I don't know, just anything that's colorful. You know, you kind of just go and you see something at the nursery and you're going, that'll fit. You know, you kind of have it in your head what you want, but you don't know really what you want till you see it and then you're like, perfect. So do you kind of play with it when you're at the nursery, those color combinations to figure it out? And yes. Almost like plant, uh, swatches, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you think about the container, what the container looks like, maybe the colors of the container, mm -hmm. kind of match that, add some, you know, and, and something that's kind of wow, like not just your normal, you know, marigolds and right, begonias, right. you know, but if you use like the big begonias or the dragon wings, those have a little oomph and they look nice in a pot, pack them in, add lots of them. Well, Carla, your containers definitely have your signature and thank you so much for sharing them with us and a few of your secrets also. Oh, you're more than welcome. Come back anytime. Thanks. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.